Welcome to, to GLP's 10 out of 10. Uh, and today we have with us uh, designer Tyler Michelo. Originally from Maine, Tony Award winning lighting designer Tyler Michelo has lived in Brooklyn, New York for the last 24 years. He's designed extensively throughout New York, as well as regionally and internationally for world premiere plays, musicals, operas, as well as outdoor spaces and touring pieces. His work on Broadway includes the band's visit at the Barrymore Theater and Be More Chill at the Lyceum Theatre. Other New York designs include the Lincoln Center Theatre, the Public Theatre, the New York Theatre Workshop, the Manhattan Theatre Club, the Atlantic Theatre, Second Stage, Playwrights Horizons, Vineyard Theatre, New George's, Soho Rep, and many, many others besides. Uh, his regional designs include for the Huntington Theatre, the Dallas Theatre Center, the Old Globe, La Jolla Playhouse, Shakespeare Theatre, the Kansas City Rep, Philadelphia Theatre Company, and again, many, Many others. And he's also created opera designs for Palm Beach Opera, Dallas Opera, Port Opera, and Connecticut Grand Opera, amongst others. And within his dance credits are included Elliot Field's Man Dance Project at the Joyce Theatre. And now, not only content with the performing arts, Tyler's also created a number of fine art installations in both Philadelphia and New York City. Uh, Tyler has also served on the faculty at Sarah Lawrence College and has been a visiting artist at Dartmouth College, Yale University, Bates College, and his alma mater, Bowdoin College. Welcome, Tyler Michelow. Thank you. Fantastic. What a, uh, yeah. what a bio so far. That's incredible. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, all right, let's, 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 all right, let's, let's jump in. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get going with the first one. So obviously a massive amount of experience as, as we just went through. What was your first show as a, uh, as a designer? I was asked, uh, as I was finishing up my, my college career, uh, uh, I was asked to design a show for um, a fairly large uh, summer stock theater company called Main State Music Theater. Um, mm -hmm. They've actually been around for almost 100 years now. And um, uh, they asked me to design the set and the lights for a production called Baby, which is a musical uh, by Maltby, Shire, and Pearson that was done uh, on Broadway, I think, in the early 80s. Being a, an excited college student, I was very eager and overeager <laughs> and um, jumped right in, and, and it was a disaster. I mean, this, this is the only thing I could say. It was my first professional design. Um, you know, I actually received a paycheck. Uh, and it was a combination. It was like a perfect storm of all the things that could go wrong because it was, uh, uh, I was doing the set and the lights, didn't have an assistant for either of those disciplines. Um, and it was summer stock, so we had to put it up in three days. So between focus and first audience. Right. Uh, yeah. It's, but certainly being thrown in at the deep end to be to be responsible for both set design and, and lighting on your on your first time out. Uh, we, we ask, you know, because there's been phenomenal successes. Obviously, you're a Tony Award winning designer. It's fantastic. Uh, phenomenal successes in your career. But I'm I, I'm sure there's also been probably one or two, you know, what we call the spinal tap moments, the bits where it was all lined right. up, set to be perfect. And then you know the, the set turned up and it was 12 inches wide right, right. something where just went completely wrong so what was if there's one that, that and you're allowed to change the names to protect the innocent it oh it's okay weird. i mean i i i had fun thinking about the all the different <laughs> different times that I, those various spinal tap moments have happened i would did a production of Berthold brex the good person of Sichuan. um mm -hmm at an old theater, I mean, this is that's sort of redundant, an old theater in New York. It was opening night, uh, mm -hmm. all the press was there. Uh, the, the Brecht family estate was there in support. Towards the end of the production, there's a, a scene where there are these gods that are dressed as judges and they're actually uh, holding court. There's a point where they, the gods reveal that they are gods. They take off their robes, throw them back, and then descend down to the, the the rest of the cast. Well, this this woman took her robe off, put it back, and it landed right on top of a, a what I call a mini tent. It's sort of like an almond Q light. It's a an open faced wash fixture with a, a thousand watt lamp, yeah. and her robe landed smack right on top of it. And uh, 
so it began to smolder. And then one of the, <laughs> one of the cast members on stage was like, um, fire? And which is not what you're supposed to yell at <laughs> the crowded theater. The fire department showed up and then we had to evacuate the entire building. And so all the press, and this, we had literally five minutes left in the production. Mm. And they were all filed out into the street. Fire department came in and examined the light and uh, they actually took it, the light with them. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what they did with it. Uh, but then the, the, everyone came back in and they really wanted to see the final moments of this play. So everyone mm. took their seat again, all the press, and uh, we finished the play and we got rave reviews, um, with, including several mentions of the, the incident that happened on stage. <laughs> And the gods um, shed in their robes. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, that's good. That's that's great. That's great that you're able to get, yeah, get back in and finish it off and uh, on such an important night as well. That's yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty special. It was a very special night, actually. Yeah. Right. There we go. I don't. Nobody's responded yet. With uh, yeah, almost setting the stage on fire. So that's the yeah. That's a, <laughs> right. That's a pretty good answer. <laughs> um, uh, over over the, over your 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 career, I guess, well, but obviously your life, um, professionally or otherwise, what would you say is the best piece of advice that somebody's ever given you? You know, early on, particularly when I was struggling, in, uh, I encountered a lighting designer named Clark Thornton. Um, I'm not so sure he's around anymore, but he uh, he just said one word. He said perseverance. You know, it's going to be hard. Just stick it out. Mm. Yeah, it was it was um, sage advice. Right, right. That's good. Perseverance. It, yeah, yeah, I think that's 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 very true. It really is. Sum it up in a single word. Uh, so professionally, obviously, over, over much of your career, what what's your proudest achievement so far? <laughs> that one's easy. Uh, that would be the design, my design for the, the Broadway production of The Band's Visit. Um, it was professionally a, a highlight. Um, one, because it was also my first Broadway show. And then to get a Tony Award and then to, to, to sort, of, sort of hit a home run on the first time at bat was kind of um, mind blowing. To say I can imagine. Yeah. Yeah. You must have been made up. Absolutely. Yeah. Up. And, 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 and to be in the same category with like these heroes of mine, like Donald mm -hmm. Holder, uh, uh, Kevin, uh, Kevin Adams, um, Brian McDevitt. Um, right. I mean, it was extraordinary. Um, so, so you mentioned obviously that, 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 you know, up until the point where we stopped working and obviously we've all had a lot of time on our hands over the last uh, weeks and, and months. So generally what, what do you do in your downtime? Uh, I spend a lot of time cooking. I really, really enjoy the kitchen. Mm. Um, the kitchen is my man cave. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, um, I mean, my wife is very, uh, appreciative of the fact that I just enjoy um, to me, it's the closest analog to design in some ways, mm. um, you know, playing around with the craft of, of the culinary craft and then just creating something that everyone's going to enjoy. Um, right. Experimenting and, with different, different flavors and textures and colors. And exactly. So across, you, we mentioned many, many different of the uh, venues that you've, you've worked in uh, uh, during your introduction. Do you have a favorite uh, venue that you've, you've worked in? I found that to be a really hard question to answer. Um, and what I came up with was that, I mean, my, really what it comes down to with the best venues are the ones with the best crews and the most flexibility you know, to, to actually do the lighting that I want to do. So for me, any, any venue that has my production electrician, Jeremy Wallers in it <laughs> and, 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 and who has my back, that's a venue I want to be working in. Um, right. Cause it's really all about the people and he, mm -hmm. he sort of makes my job easier and, and allows me, he was my production electrician on the band's visit for be more chill. Um, for American Buffalo. Oh, that's good. Um, 
coming 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 back to a little bit more of a, a you know a, a lighthearted question away from away from work so much so so again you know we've all been uh, quarantined up for for so long um and and of course one thing that a lot of people do listen to music is there which is there one artist or, or one particular record that uh that you know that would be the first thing if the house was burning down that's the first thing you're taking that you would uh another tough one because there's so many options but the one that's been going through my head actually it's been two two different things but the one that's been really going through my head is elvis costello's uh brutal youth album right. yes um it's it's you know it's not necessarily a perfect album but i mean anything he writes is is gold and uh there's just something about it was the first time he got back with the attractions in a long time mm. and uh they're such a tight band um yes that's yeah true. that yeah. that's that's been going through my head um a lot yeah. right yeah a phenomenal artist who's, who's you know had a lot of longevity in his career as well yeah it's, yeah uh, yeah really has really has um okay so 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 spinning back if uh if you could go back to the the teenage version of of, of tyler and <laughs> uh and you could offer a, a little piece of advice what uh what would be the piece of advice you'd uh, you'd give uh uh trust the the choices that my more experimental choices i mean just really trust that i mean i'm, I'm i might fail but uh i'm going to get something out of that failure mm -hmm. um and get more sleep <laughs> i should have i should have slept more <laughs> i did not sleep much at all yeah that's that's a golden piece of advice that's yeah. Yeah, that's fantastic <laughs> <laughs> um now if you could if the next next question if you could uh, if you could sit down for a cup of coffee or you know a, a glass of whiskey and a cigar with with one person living or dead uh who's the who's the one you choose uh dead people are so boring because they don't speak much so <laughs> uh i would be really really interested in meeting and spending some time with willie williams okay Right. Um, yeah. His his trajectory is something I sort of followed along with, but I mean, I'm just surprised. Maybe maybe not surprisingly, but I'm I'm very interested in concert designers, mm -hmm. and because they really truly are pioneering uh, with some with new gear and developing new gear and and new ways of of telling stories and uh, alongside music. And I just, yeah, I, I would love to just pick his brain and sort of find out sort of like where the seeds of a lot of those choices came from. Uh, great choice. Absolutely great choice. And you're right. He's probably a bit more, a bit more talkative than some of the dead people out there. <laughs> uh, all right. We're getting towards the end now, Tyler. So for our final question, uh, we wanted to throw in something just a, you know, a little bit, a little bit fun, a little bit off the wall. So, you know, what we say, the, the phone rings. Uh, and it's the U.S. Olympic Agency, and they're calling you up. Now's your time. Now's the time when you can compete in the Olympics. It, it could be the Winter Games, could be the Summer Games. Uh, which sport are they calling you up for? It would have to be outdoors because I, I would prefer that. I'm very fond of being outside. Hmm. Um, I don't know that it exists, but the the I, I would I could see myself being a biathlete in terms of the, which is usually a combination of uh, uh, cross country skiing and uh, target shooting. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, yeah. But I would want it to be cycling and target shooting. Uh, you know, so cause I, I, you know, I'd, I'd rather be in, in better weather and uh, riding my bike than um, in the snow. But, right. uh, but there's just something about the, the temperament that is required to be doing something full out physically, you know, with your heart racing and then to stop on a dime and calm yourself down to the point mm. that you can actually do something with a target and actually, you know, succeed with, with some accuracy. Um, I, I, I yeah. thought of that as, as something that would be, uh, you know, very, very analogous to what we do. Right. No, that's, that's, that's true. Have, have all of a sudden that, that, that really focused, uh, uh, precision. Yeah. 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 
The rest right, of the so time we're just running and running and running. <laughs> that's right. That's yeah. right. Um, Tyler, this has been fantastic. Thank you so much for the insights. Uh, oh, thank, thank you, you Mark. so much for you know sharing sharing your knowledge and and uh, yeah, telling you how you how you're living through uh, all of these interesting times that are going on at the moment. So, thank you again, and uh, and I look forward to catching up with you in person uh, as soon as we possibly can. Yeah, that'd be great. Be great. safe until then. Thanks, Tyler. Bye. All right. Bye bye.